All right, so you got an abundance of quail eggs and you're wondering, can I feed them to my dog? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Hey there, welcome to another Slightly Redneck video. My name is Chris and today we're going to discuss quail eggs. More specifically, can they be fed to your dog and how to do that, how to go about doing it. So there's been a little bit of discussion about feeding eggs to dogs and we all know, well probably we all know anyway, that if you leave a dog to its own devices and it goes and finds an egg, it's going to eat that egg. In fact on farms it's sometimes a problem where dogs get a hold of an egg, they've learned the taste for them, and then they keep going after the eggs over and over and over and over again. So we, we've all heard the term of a egg sucking dog, those kinds of things. But we're going to dispel some of the myths about feeding eggs to dogs. Okay, one concern with feeding eggs to dogs is that the egg whites themselves have a protein in them called avidin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not a scientist. Uh, but that interferes, or can, an overconsumption of it anyway, can interfere with the way that the body interacts with biotin, which is more commonly known as uh, vitamin H or vitamin B7. Now, th those concerns are a little bit over-exaggerated. Uh, um, yeah, there is avidin in the egg whites, but there's also the vitamin B7 or vitamin H, however you want to call it, in the egg yolks themselves. So if you feed the whole egg to the dog, then they're not going to get an overabundance of avidin. They're going to get kind of a balance of all that stuff together. Now sure, if all you fed your dog was eggs, there might be a problem. But a few eggs here and there, an egg a day, a couple eggs a day, or with quail eggs, maybe five eggs a day, is probably not going to hurt them at all in that aspect. So there's nothing to be concerned about there. There's been no scientific proof. It's just a concern. No scientific evidence of any dog ever having an issue with that. It's just a concern that somebody brought up and dogs have been eating eggs for years and years, decades and decades, never had a problem with it. So not an issue, don't worry about that. Okay, another concern with feeding eggs to your dogs, especially raw eggs, is salmonella. Now, true, there is a risk of salmonella on raw eggs, but the risk is pretty minimal really. Very few eggs have salmonella um, issues with them or have salmonella bacteria on them. Dogs themselves are not very susceptible to salmonella at all, so even if it was infected with salmonella and you could feed it to your dog, they're probably not going to get sick off of that. Again, no scientific evidence on that. No scientific evidence that there's been any dogs getting salmonella from eating eggs. It's just a concern that people have about it. Nothing to worry about as far as that goes. Okay, now that we've debunked those two myths, now we get the question is, should you feed eggs to your dog? Well, eggs, as we all know, are high protein. They've got lots of vitamins in them. I'm not going to go through and name them all off. You can look it up if you want to, but it's all stuff that's very, very good for your dog. Produces good, shiny fur, um, coat. It helps with uh, dry skin, some of those kinds of things. So by all means, yes, these are a good food source for your dog. But again, in moderation. You don't feed nothing but eggs, but you're going to feed maybe four or five eggs, quail eggs anyway, a day, or one chicken egg a day, something along that lines. is not going to hurt your dog at all. It's going to provide them with a lot of beneficial high protein, and it's animal protein, the kind of protein the dogs need. Um, it's got a lot of vitamins and minerals in there that are very, very good for your dog. So yes, it's a very good thing to feed your dog and a treat. The plus side is that they really, really like those. Now, one thing you can do is if you're concerned about uh, some of the, you know, the things like salmonella or any of those kinds of things, you can always cook the eggs first. Not really necessary though. Most of the health benefits in especially quail eggs are, are going to be well, um, well let's see how do I put this, they're going to be better when it's raw, when you cook them, you cook out a lot of those health benefits for it. So it's really better I think personally, my personal opinion, I don't have any scientific evidence for it, but it's better to feed the eggs to the dog raw. So let's talk about how we go about feeding the eggs. Well, my dog has sharp teeth. These come in a nice little package. All I do is just give the raw egg to the dog, shell and all, and she will eat it just fine. So you can see there's nothing to worry about by feeding it. I've been feeding my dog eggs for a long time. She loves them. And it's, it gives me something to do to take care of the extra eggs because if you know you're raising quail, you get a ton of eggs and it can be hard to keep up with eating them all yourself, so why not throw a couple to the dog every once in a while? Dog likes them after all. All right, so we got a full egg right here. We're giving it to the dog. I gotta watch my fingers so she don't get them. <laughs> She's, she loves it, shell and all, and it's gone. We'll set the other two down here on the ground for her. There you go, have at them. All right, so I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It was just something maybe you hadn't thought of before about giving eggs to your dog. Um, it's a great treat for them. They love them. 
don't worry at all about the health risks in it. Those things are just concerns that people brought up, and we're in a hypersensitive um, you know, society nowadays where people worry about every little thing. My dog is just fine. She's been eating eggs for as long as I've been growing, raising quail. And uh, you can tell she loves them. They're good for her. Nothing at all wrong with feeding them to them. So thank you all for watching. Uh, leave me a question below if you have comments, um, if you've got some kind of different experience, or uh, if there's something you'd like to see addressed in a future video. Thank you all for watching, and as always, God bless.